Hi there, welcome. I'm Dr. Newsom, and I'm here to bring you optimal health naturally. Today we're talking about the immune system and how the immune system fights viruses. Let's jump right into it. The immune system is a incredibly complex system. Uh, it operates within all of our other systems, okay? Uh, and it, its job is to protect and maintain the well-being of our entire body. Okay, we have two types of immunity within our immune system. First is our innate immune system, okay? And what our innate immune system does is it gives us non-specific immunity, okay? So non-specific immunity means it's uh, you know, it's kind of immune against everything, okay? Uh, and in this, we have multiple systems that are pulled into working side by side the immune cells, okay? And so we have, we have things like physical barriers, okay? That's our skin. Our skin's a physical barrier. We have hair. Hair is a physical barrier, okay? Uh, eyelashes, eyebrows, and, you know, things like that. We have within our respiratory system and our digestive tract, we have, uh, uh, we have things called cilia, okay? Uh, and they're like little fingers that move back and forth and kind of brush things, keep the mucus moving in our, in our respiratory system. In our digestive tract, we have things called villi, and they kind of do the same thing, you know? We have um, mucus that's produced in our digestive system and in our respiratory system that, that acts as a barrier. Those things gunk up you know, toxins and microbes that are in the environment that get into our system get, get stuck in that mucus and get brushed out of our system. Um, we have other defense mechanisms that aren't, specific, you know, immune cell specific. These are things that are outside of our immune cells that help work alongside our immune system. Um, these are different secretions like, uh, like mucus. We just talked about mucus, right? Uh, we also have bile, which is really, really alkaline and it, it melts things, right? We have uh, gastric acid, okay, stomach acid. That, <laughs> that's really acidic and it burns things, okay? Just dissolves things. Uh, we have saliva that acts as a barrier. We have tears in our eyes that act as a barrier. We have sweat on our skin, that all acts as a barrier. We have the other immune responses that uh, aren't carried out specifically by the immune cells, the white blood cells, okay? These are things like, um, <laughs> you know, inflammation, okay? So uh, when you get a cut, right, and it gets swollen around that cut, what that is is the immune system's triggering an inflammatory response in the tissue to bring more water into the area, okay? And that separates the tissue and, and separates the cells, allowing for more space for the white blood cells to move around in the tissue and go after any toxins or microbes that shouldn't be in there. So let's talk a little bit about the, the specific cells that work in our innate immune system, okay? Our innate immunity, the cells that are employed over here are things called phagocytes, okay? Phagocytes are uh, cells that eat, is what that means. They eat, okay? And they engulf uh, toxins and invaders and cells that are infected and whatnot like that and cells that are dying or cells that are already dead. These things come along and they, they literally engulf them and digest them, okay? There are uh, macrophages, and macrophages are uh, really, really, really big phagocytes, okay? And they're, they're um, you know, like the garbage trucks, okay? Uh, we have mast cells, and mast cells are, they go around triggering that, um, that inflammatory response so the white blood cells can move around in the tissues, right? Then we have our most prevalent white blood cells. These are neutrophils, and neutrophils are our um, our ground forces, if you will, okay? They're our primary fighters, and they are vicious. They tear up whoever they go after, okay? Uh, they're really, really amazing fighters. Uh, we have then our eosinophils. Eosinophils, um, 
give us immunity against big invaders like, uh, like parasites, okay? Uh, also, they enable us to have big and long-lasting inflammatory responses so that the immune system can move around in our body. Uh, we have then basophils that allow us to have, in, you know, uh, allergic inflammatory responses, okay? We have monocytes that become, uh, can become macrophages, the really big ones, but monocytes typically work as the, the cleanup crew. They come in behind the neutrophils cleaning up the mess, right? So this brings us to the dendritic cells. And the dendritic cells are kind of like a, kind of like a, they look like a spider almost. And they're very, very vicious fighters, kind of like our neutrophils, okay? But there aren't anywhere near as many dendritic cells compared to neutrophils. And dendritic cells do something real similar, real, real interesting in that they, they alert all of the cells in our innate immunity, okay, that we've just talked about, but they also go over and share information with our specific immunity cells, okay, our leukocytes that we're gonna talk about in a minute. And how they do this is dendritic cells uh, fight and destroy whoever, whatever they're fighting. They take pieces of them and patch them on their skin and then go and show that to all these cells that we just talked about and they show them to the cells that we're about to talk about in our adaptive or specific immunity. Okay, so let's go talk about that. So adaptive immunity or specific immunity is carried out by some other types of white blood cells called leukocytes or lymphocytes. These particular types of lymphocytes or white blood cells are called B cells and T cells. And what these particular types of white blood cells do is they produce something called antibodies. And antibodies uh, are, they go around, you know, when these cells release antibodies, they release antibodies by the millions. They just flood their, their entire environment with antibodies. And those antibodies stick to something specific, to a specific virus, to a specific bacteria or other microbe or to a specific cell even, okay? And it's, it's through those antibodies that we have specific immunity, okay? So these give us immunity to viruses, to bacteria, pathogens, to all kinds of illnesses, all right? And what's interesting in these in these types of cells, we have those that are antibody producers, and they don't live quite as long. And then we have the memory cells. We have the B cell, B memory cells and T memory cells that, that are kind of like the librarians, and, and they carry the library of all the different antibodies that have ever been produced by your immune system in your entire life. And anytime you're immune system detects a, a bacteria or virus or any type of, uh, you know, microbe or whatnot that you've ever experienced in the past, those memory B cells and memory T cells bring the, that out of the library and they tell the other B cells and T cells produce these particular types of antibodies. We've got XYZ problem. And so that, in a nutshell, is what our adaptive immunity or our specific immunity is all about. And before we go on, I want, to, I want to tell you, I want you to remember one thing. I want you to remember that your body's immune system is your greatest defense against any disease, okay? Any illness, whether it's an infection or an illness, an, a toxicity, or anything like that. Anything that produces illness uh, has to overcome your immune system in order for you to become ill. So maintaining a strong immune system is the, is the most important thing you can do with your health. So now that you know all about our innate immunity, that, that non-specific immunity, and all about our adaptive immunity, that specific immunity, that finally brings us to the place where we can answer our question. So let's finally answer our question. How does the immune system fight 
viruses or any other infection for that matter, right? Okay, so here goes. We have our innate immune system, right? That is nonspecific, right? And that's, that has all our white blood cells that are our fighters, right? That has our barriers and all those things. And on the other side, we have our specific, our adaptive immunity, right? And here's where we get our antibodies and things like that. So when a bad guy comes into the system, okay, an invader, a virus in this case, comes into the system and the immune system recognizes that there is a virus, okay? And that's only, that only happens if the immune system is really healthy, by the way. The immune system has to be very healthy and, and awake and alert in order for it to recognize a virus has come into the system. Otherwise, the virus kind of slips past, right? So a poorly functioning, functioning immune system doesn't always catch the viruses very quickly. It doesn't notice that they're there, okay? And the virus gets into our, gets into cells and starts using the DNA in the cells to make more copies of itself. Okay, and as that happens, we have more and more cells that are infected, okay, and there becomes a bigger and bigger problem. Harder to resolve and harder to take care of. So, just real quick, take care of your immune system. <laughs> All right, and we'll cover that in just a minute. We'll come back to that. So, when we have uh, an invader come into the system, the T cells and B cells get alerted and they start spewing out massive amounts of antibodies, just antibodies and antibodies. They just fill our system with antibodies. And those antibodies start tagging all of those viruses that are out floating around in the system. And then all of those cells and the viruses that are in the cells, uh, this, uh, the infected cells, sorry, the viruses that are in the infected cells, starts tagging all of those, okay, which then triggers our innate immunity, okay, our fighters come to our rescue at that point, and they go after those cells. So our fighters are our neutrophils, our monocytes, our macrophages, our natural killer cells, our dendritic cells, okay, they go on the rampage, and they just go after all of those um, all those viruses, all the cells that are infected, okay? And so what happens in our system is when we have a virus and the immune system is attacking all of those infected cells, we get aches and pains. We may have a fever. Um, we have fatigue, okay? Because it takes so much energy for all of these to mobilize that entire army, okay? And so those aches and pains are from the immune system destroying those cells that are, uh, are infected with the viruses, okay? And part of the fatigue is the fact that your body has to then rebuild those cells, okay? So it, there's a lot going on here in, in this uh, neutralization of infectious processes in our body. What do we need to do here? We need to support our immune system. Okay, if we're eating garbage and we're not getting nutrients, our immune system will have missing nuts and bolts. Okay, the, it, all of its functional parts won't function properly. Or your immune response is gonna be slow. If it's slow, uh, the infection gets way ahead of the immune system bef before the immune system starts to have a response. Okay, and what we want is we want a very quick response to infection so it doesn't go very far into our body, doesn't infect too many cells in our system. So eating right, supplementing, getting all the nutrients your, your body needs in order for your immune system to operate properly. You know, this isn't just taking zinc. This isn't just taking vitamin C or vitamin D3. We need lots of different nutrients. We need rest, <laughs> sleep, okay? We need exercise. We need clean food, clean water. We need to supplement, okay? These things we need. Um, I love fulvic acid. I love you know, adaptogens. I love uh, medicinal mushrooms and those types of things. Those are all some things we need. We need, you know, remember our microbiome is part of our immune system. We need to replenish that. We need to protect it with enzymes. We need to give 
you know, reinforce it with more probiotics, okay? So there's a lot of things that have to be done to support our immune system and keep that response strong, number one, but also quick. We want it to stand up and take care of us uh, as soon as possible. So I hope this all made sense. I hope you learned something from this video. If you're looking for more information, visit our website at drnewsom.com. So until then, I'll see you next time.